Have you ever heard the expression, Hobson's choice? It's a free choice in which only one thing is offered. A take it or leave it type of proposition. It's really no choice at all. Well, the phrase comes from the 16th century when a man named Thomas Hobson used to rent out horses from a stable in Cambridge, England. You see, Hobson had a rule that whoever was going to rent a horse had to choose the one that was closest to the stable door. Now, in reality, Hobson had an extensive stable of some 40 horses, giving the impression that a customer could choose pretty much any horse that he would like. Hobson, however, had this rule, that you had to choose the horse that was closest to the door. Why was that? Well, the reason was to prevent the best horses from always being chosen, which would mean those horses would get overused. And so no matter who you were, that was the rule. Not your choice, but Hobson's choice. And soon people began to use the phrase Hobson's choice to indicate any situation where there was really no choice at all. Well, you and I have been given free will, the ability to make our own choices. And unlike Hobson's choice, where you pretty much have to take what is given to you with no choice in the matter, we have the ability and the opportunity every day to make our own decisions. And so each day we get to choose right from wrong. We get to choose whether we're going to give or to withhold, whether we're going to get involved or pass by on the other side, whether we're going to love or hate, whether we're going to forgive or withhold forgiveness, whether we're going to live for others or for self, whether we're going to be grateful or bitter. It would behoove us to choose well, because after we have made our choices, whether for good or for bad, our choices turn around and make us. Thank you for watching, and be kind.